This is Bob Coat. I am a baseball card lover and collector for the last 50 years of my life. Um, actually, 55 years. I started in the mid-60s. Not sure where I got this Mickey Mantle card, but it's got a little crease in the middle. Um, if it were to be rated, probably, you know, one or a two. It's a pretty low card, but it's very nice, nice back. The 61 Aaron is in very nice shape. Again, hard for me to guess on ratings if I sent it in. Maybe a 6 or a 7. Here's a 73 Tops, Reggie Jackson. 1961 Willie Mays, like the Aaron card, also in excellent shape. Next to it is a rookie Frank Robinson um, in, in very nice shape, a little off-center. Next row, Sandy Koufax, 58 Tops. Very nice shape. 74 Nolan Ryan. Looks very close to mint. Dr. J and Oscar Robertson. Stan Musial from 58. Next row is Joe Montana, 1980 tops. There's a Larry, Larry Zonka rookie. The Zonka rookie is a 69 tops. Pete Maravich, 72 tops. Very nice shape. It's a Larry Bird card, more contemporary. That's a Will Chamberlain from 72 also. Very nice shape. Eh, left corner is kind of messed. Joe Namath, Alan Amici, Mike Ditka. It's a signed Steve Carlton. There's a Mike Schmidt, 1974 tops. Carlton's, I think, in 1980 tops. Next is my Rose Rookie. I probably got this card, boy, probably when I was in fourth or fifth grade. Uh, early 70s, Rosemont Elementary School used to collect with Chris Diamanditas and Mike DeCandolo. Nice 63 tops. Rose, probably in, uh, with those corners, I don't know, maybe a 6. Some of the other cards in there are decent. That's a 69 tops Rose. Um, he signed this to my son, Henry. Best wishes, Pete Rose. That was in Las Vegas that he did that. I think we had to pay 50 bucks for that signature. Some more cards, 71 tops. Uh, rose in there, but the valuable one here, of course, is the Rose Rookie. Again, looks like it's in very nice shape. Next is a set of 72-73 uh, uh, Topps basketball, and obviously the marquee card here is the Julius Irving Rookie card, but I do have a complete mint set um, of those cards, so always difficult to figure out whether you want to break that up. Every card's perfect. There's a nice Lou Alcindor second-year card. Um, I think that's 60 or 69, 70 tops. No, 70, 71 tops. The second year they made the big cards. It's in nice shape. Here's some 1958 tops. It's a Hank Aaron, a little off center. Um, Bob Clemente, 58 tops. And there's a mantle, not in good shape, but just, you know, it's a Mickey Mantle, 1958 tops. One of my favorites, 1940 play ball, Walter Big Train Johnson. Got these cards when I was 14 years old. There's the back. I've kept a few of them, but one of them I kept was Walter Johnson. One of my favorites is 1949 Jackie Robinson uh, Bowman card, his second year card. It's in very nice shape. Um, I need to get this card graded, but for the time being, not really that interested. Just it's my favorite card, not getting rid of it. Um, I think I bought this at a flea market, believe it or not, in Martha's Vineyard in 1974 on a trip, and I probably paid two bucks for it. I love the oldies. This is Chuck Klein and Paul Derringer from the 1930s. Yeah, more fun stuff. There's now K Line Rookie. Not in great shape at all, but it's a cool card. Warren Spahn, same year. There's a 57 Al K Line in much nicer shape. And then there's a TV card from Hank Aaron's 55 Bowman set. Um, one of my favorite cards. It's, it's not in nice shape. Rounded edges on the right-hand side. Corners on the left, not good. I mean, I'm guessing maybe a three. These next few cards are cool because they're all in very much mint, close to 10 shape. I just, I got a full set of these, um, a series, excuse me, of 59 tops. Whitey Ford, Don Drysdale. This is a Keystone Combo. And there's a nice Frank Robinson. As I say, perfect shape cards for more of those ones. There's Bob Clemente. Again, that, that's as close to a 10 as you can get. Um, same with Orlando Cepeda and Whitey Herzog. Um, the, only one, the only one I think I must have sold a long time ago was the Hank Aaron card. I don't have that anymore, but I remember having that one too, but it's gone.
pretty random over here. I notice I see a Pete Maravich from 72, 73, and then there's a McGuire 85. So I do have a good bit of 80s cards, too many. And for the most part, I'm interested in anything before the year 1980. But that's a cool McGuire rookie. There's a nice early Wayne Gretzky card, Opeachy from 84, 85, for 83, 84. Um, yeah, second year, third or fourth year card. Um, very nice shape. Barry Sanders rookie, nice shape. Anything with Walter Payton on it from 1978 is pretty cool to have. I do not have his rookie card. I wish I did. Um, but I have him here in the NFL leaders. Here's another 72 Namath. I, I've got a lot of doubles because I got stuff all over the place. I would guess I've got at least five of these Mattingly cards from 84. I've got Oh, so many boxes of 84 cards. It's it's ridiculous. Um, that was the year I decided, hey, I'll just buy it in bulk. Um, not sure what they're worth now, but they're sitting here. Just boxes and boxes of 84 tops baseball cards. The set of that star, 84 cards. The year the Sixers won the title in 83. Some Irvings in here. Um, complete set of these. I also have the complete set of the, the Dr. J from that same year. And then it's panning around, you can see. Oh, the cards. Oh, my gosh. Just boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes. And then, of course, over here is nothing but Sports Illustrated. There's unopened boxes. Heavy on Philadelphia Eagles. Heavy on Phillies. Um, and then, of course, in the last 30 years I've lived in Colorado, heavy on the Rockies. Huh. Last two. One's an old basketball card. One is, boy, that's an old football. It's probably a 49 Bowman football. But this one is a guy named Price Brookfield for Indianapolis Jets basketball team, 1949 Bowman, 48 Bowman. Book ha this book here has nothing but Phillies artifacts. There's a World Series tickets from the World Series that never happened, 1964. My uncle got these, but they ended up not winning because they lost like 10 straight, 12 straight, and Cardinals surpassed them. Ticket stubs from when I went to see the Phillies play in 83 against the Orioles. And then the book just goes on and on, mainly with the stars, starting out with Ashburn, the Phillies cards. And there's the Schmidt cards. There's the Rhodes ca Rose cards. And it just goes on and on and on. Steve Carlton. And there's my favorite player of all time, Dick Allen. Got quite a few Dick Allen cards. Next are my 56 tops. They're in a book. There's Mickey Mantle. That's one of the great cards. Um, yeah, left edge is not up. Upper red is not great. Um, there's a crease in it. It's hard to say. I would say it's middle card, maybe a five. Um, next to it, Bob Lemon, Ken Boyer, Harmon Killebrew. That may be his rookie or second year card, but it's in a nice shape card. Um, there's Roberto Clemente, not in great shape, but it's a 56 tops, his second year card. Um, next to that, Eddie Matthews, a Hall of Famer. So I got these set up in books. That's a 55-56 tops book with Bowman Baseball. But if you go next to it, you see there's 57-58. It just goes on and on um, through the 60s. That's by the end on the right here. That's 68 tops, 69 tops. So if we pull this open, this is six, all 69 tops, of which... I don't have a complete set, but I have close. The first time I have a complete set is 74 tops, but I think I could get it pretty easily with 72 and 73 and 69 and maybe 67 tops. I've got a lot of those, and I also have a lot of 59 tops. So those are the ones I'm working on to get complete sets. This is 69 football, complete set, near mint, 91 doubles. So I've got a full set of these 69s and I actually remember I'm, I bought these cards myself, so I put this together myself, and it's in surprisingly nice condition for that situation, but um, they are nice cards. There's the Namath. Always fun to find the Namath in the set. Again, it looks in excellent condition. I think that Butkus card there was the last card I got to complete the set. I got that about six months ago at Bill's Sports Collectibles. Yeah, Bill's Sports Collectibles is a local sports card shop in Denver, Colorado. I'll go every once in a while to help fill sets. Excellent place. And here are the oldest cards. This, this goes back to 40, 1940 play ball. Um, most of these. 
No stars in here. I think Walter Johnson was the big star. Wally Moses. It's a nice Gil Hodge. That's a red back from 1951 uh, tops. Two nice old Redmen tobacco cards. Richie Ashburn, another favorite player because he was a Philly. And Nina Slaughter. Okay, so there you have it. There's the bookshelf that's got all those cards in there. And I've kind of just working on sets. A um, couple shadow boxes. Nice one with the Phillies and or yeah, Phillies over here on the left, and then it's mainly Avalanche up there for when they won the Stanley Cup. Here's a nice sport one from Hank Aaron. Um, pictures of him sports. Uh, it's an Al Downing autograph. He's the one who gave up the 714th home run. It's a nice shadow box for Oscar Robertson, who I know and have met on several occasions um, through his son-in-law, Hyder Shaw. Um, he signed a bunch of stuff for me. I went to about four All-Stars games with him in the 80s. There's my buddies, Joe Sweetser, myself, and Paul Stoltz with the big O. Oh, gosh, back in 1994, I would guess. And some of his basketball cards. Big O is one of the greatest uh, basketball players ever and, and a great human being. Just, just a wonderful guy. Here's a Super Bowl shadow box with my buddy John DeSantis. Went to Super Bowl where the Eagles lost to Jacksonville. So we went back and saw them when they beat uh, New England two years ago, three years ago in Minneapolis. There's a cool Sixers painting, Villanova Wildcats. There's a Sixers shot of box with Billy Cunningham and Hal Greer. And, and what it says, if you look closely, it talks about the fact that they went from the best team ever to the worst team ever when I was a kid. There's some of the tickets out of the games I would go to in 1973 when they were the worst team around. So I got to witness it firsthand from, from first to worst. And, of course, I had the Flyers. They did win two Stanley Cups in the mid-'70s. More of the shadow box. And then just nothing but books and whatnot. And then here are the, you know, the cards lined up. I don't think there's anything extremely valuable in those cards. Um, just some favorites, and then we go back to where we started with the Pete Rose. Last one here is that 1974 complete set, uh, starting with the Aaron cards and going straight through. There's 660 cards, all in perfect shape. Everything's in mint condition from that set. All right, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the collection.